वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेदिक मैट्रिक दिस ट्रिक विल हेल्प यू फाइंड द स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी नंबर इन लेस देन 5 सेकंड्स सो कम विद मी एंड लेट अस लर्न हाउ दिस ट्रिक वर्क्स यस फ्रेंड्स वी गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी नंबर बिटवीन 1 एंड 1000 इन लेस देन 5 सेकंड्स सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस ट्रिक वर्क्स बाय टेकिंग अ टू डिजिट एग्जांपल नोट दैट दिस ट्रिक विल ओनली वर्क फॉर अ टू डिजिट नंबर so let us take 72 so 72 square is what what i have to do first is find the square of the units place so the units place or the ones place of 72 is 2 i have to find the square of 2 square of 2 is 4 so i won't write 4 as it is as 4 i will write it as 04 this is because in vedic maths we cannot write a one digit number as a one digit number we have to make it a two digit number by adding a zero now 7 square is 49 now what i have to do is write 4904 and then add it with what we have to add this with 7 into 2 into 2 note these are the digits and this is the square so whenever you want to find the square of any number step 1 is to find the square of the digits then you write it like this then what you have to do is multiply the digits together and then multiply that with the square so after multiplying the digits with the square we get 28 so i'll leave the ones place and start writing 28 from the tens place today right? Now x or cross is nothing but zero, so four plus zero is four. Zero plus eight is eight. Nine plus two is eleven. I'll put one as a carry. So four plus one is five. So five one eight four is the square of seventy two. Now let us take a three digit number. So let us take one one eight square. So one one eight square is what? friends here comes the twist in this now what we have to do is first of all find the number closest to 118 that has a zero that's the numbers closest to 118 that has a zero is 100 and 120 so i'll write here 100 and 120 friends we will solve the square of 118 by using both of these but let's first use the round off number of 118 as 100 so I have to first of all subtract hundred from one one eight. So one one eight minus hundred is nothing but eighteen. So I'll just write one one eight here and plus eighteen here, and the additive inverse of plus eighteen is nothing but minus eighteen. So now I have to multiply one one eight plus eighteen that is one thirty six, and one one eight minus eighteen that is hundred together. that is my left hand side friends now what i have to write in the right hand side is the square of this number that is the square of the difference so the difference is 18 and 18 square is 324 friends if you do not know the square of 18 you can use the above method to find it all right so now what i have to do is cancel the zeros Why I have to cancel the zeros is to block the numbers in the right hand side, and to make our calculations more easier. All right. So since I have blocked, like I mean, cancelled two zeros as I divided by hundred, I have to block two digits in the RHS. Remember that the maximum numbers in the RHS is the maximum number of zeros to be cancelled. What I mean to say is this: suppose here there are like three numbers that maximum can, like three maximum numbers that can be blocked you cannot block block four numbers so what i am saying is if suppose the number here was 10000 so i would have not tried to cancel all the zeros instead i would just use 1000 and try to just block all of these digits so since 100 is cancelled by 100 what i get is nothing but 136 bar Three and twenty-four. That is blocked. 
now this is my last step what I have to do is like the remaining number that is not blocked I have to bring it to this side and add it with it what I mean by that is 136 plus 3 is 139 so what I have to do is write 139 to get here and since 24 is blocked I can write it directly as it is yes friends 13924 is my answer so let us solve by taking the round of number as 120 so 120 minus 118 is nothing but 2 so I will write a plus 2 here and the additive inverse of plus 2 is minus 2 now what I have to do is add with these plus 2 and minus 2 I have to add 118 with plus 2 and minus 2 so and then multiply them together so 118 plus 2 is 120 multiplied with 118 minus 2 that is 116 that is my left hand side so now my right hand side would be the square of this number that is the difference obtained so the square of 2 is 4 that I'll write as 0, 4 as I have discussed before that in Vedic Maths you cannot write a one digit number as a one digit but you have to convert it into a two digit alright now what I have to do is cancel a 0 here so I'll cancel one zero here by adding a 10 in the denominator so cancelling one zero will give me 12 times 116 on my left hand side and on my right hand side I'll write 0, 04 but wait guys I have to block one digit as one zero has been cancelled so I'll block one digit so the remaining digit that is not blocked is zero all right now 12 times 116 is what 12 times 116 is 1392 and so the digit that is blocked is 4 so 0 will obviously go here it will be added here as it is unblocked so when I add 1392 with 0 what I get is nothing but 1392 and the block digit that is 4 has to be written as it is so my answer is 13924, the same answer that I got. So now let us solve a last example, that is a big number. Through this example, I want to show you that finding the squares of a big number is also quite easy as to find the square of a small number. So I am taking a big number, say 978. So 978 square is what? The rules are the same. The nearest number to 978 is 1000. I'll take it. I'll take thousand as the round of number. So thousand minus nine seventy eight is nothing but twenty two. So I'll write nine seventy eight here. So I'll write plus twenty two here as that is the difference obtained. And additive inverse of plus twenty two is minus twenty two. Okay. Now I'll multiply nine seventy eight plus twenty two that is thousand with 978 minus 22 that's 956 all right that is that was my left hand side now let's write the RHS that is the right hand side so what I have to do is find the square of 22 that is nothing but 484 okay so now since there are three digits in the right hand side and since there are three zeros to be cancelled this means all of the digits can be blocked here that makes my task much easier okay so I'll just cancel these zeros into 956 that is 484 so my answer becomes simple so my, the required answer is 956 and 484 that is like all of the digits are blocked so I'll write that directly that's it for today guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video smash the like button to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload videos. I'll be back with some more Vedic Math tricks to make your life simple and easy. Bye!